Charles and Los Bevo. Um, first of all, an uh, update on Tom Liberatore. How is he tracking at the moment? Oh, we're going to concussion protocols and we'll give you an update during the week. He seems OK, but um, as, as always, we'll take precautions and, and uh, take a conservative approach with him. Well, I think the simple aspect of the game was they broke too many of our tackles and uh, those disputed ball situations, they just won a hell of a lot more than us and um, that enabled them to get territory and more inside 50s than us. You know, we had a, a really stale part of the game after half time where we, we couldn't create any momentum, couldn't get any ball movement, couldn't get the ball. Um, and so, yeah, they, they won it at the cold face and, uh, you know, f- f- by and large, our backs, you know, held up pretty well throughout the course of the game. But um, we just couldn't create any opportunities. So, you know, you come out of the game and you, you credit Hawthorne for the way they played and some of their individuals who uh, were influential. Um, you know, and in the scheme of the year, when you look at, uh, you know, the evenness of the competition and Hawthorne now gaining some momentum along the way and some, looking at some growth in their own their own troops and the way they're playing, you know, you come out of the game and you think, well, you know, we could have been so much better in certain areas and then you, you think also, well, Hawthorne are, are improving. And we knew that, you know, we knew it was going to be a really difficult task and, um, and obviously we fell short. We just go to work on it during the week to make it better the following week. What do you, go, what do you feel like you need to do better if you guys make finals for a period? The things I just mentioned. In terms of the third quarter, I mean, do you feel like there's a bit of a sentiment in the team that the, the win would just do the job for them a, a, a little bit there coming into that? Uh, sorry, you just repeat the first part of that. Uh, sorry, did you think there was just a little bit of a, a sense within the team that the, the win may, may, may do the job? Uh, uh, for the team, I guess, going into that third quarter? The wind? Yeah, like nah, the wind. the wind was negligible. Yeah. They didn't, no one no one thought that way. They, had to, uh, they just came out with um, an influence of game. You know, more, uh, I suppose, electric fashion at the start of that third, which, yeah, uh, and they gained some momentum. With the, the Giants, the Giants loss as well, and, and, the, and the Sydney, the Sydney loss, obviously two real close ones as well. Is there anything that you've noticed in that sort of uh, pattern? Oh, our, our losses. You mean I'm talking about today? Well, yeah. I mean, we've had, we've lost three games in the last what I think six or so under a goal. Uh, two of those we've lost key position players, and we we haven't been able to stabilise too well. But we've hung in there uh, today. You know, obviously we lost Libba early, but they lost um, Chad Wingard early, so we were sort of one down all. Uh, so it shouldn't have impacted too much. Both teams just having the 22 out there. Um, yeah, and we came again, you know, when the game looked uh, almost lost late in the game. So that's, it's, it's a positive, but um, throughout the course of the game, we, we just we weren't doing enough. You know, the, the possession uh, quantum on their side and the uh, the influence of uh, of some of the you know key playmakers around the stoppage and uh, and their high half backs, we uh, you know they put us under pressure. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, n- nothing to do with the wind. Obviously, with the river going off, and missing him pretty badly at the coal face, so that was obviously a little bit crucial, you know, a crucial factor in the game. No doubt, just missing his, his hard nose approach. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liver didn't play against the Hawks last time, and we needed to get our act together after half time. We did, so it's not like we hadn't done it before. And you know, Chad Wingard's been playing well for the Hawks, so they'd feel the same about him going off. So it's sort of a, you know, a nil or draw. And uh, and then the rest of your boys, they just need to bring their best, and we just didn't have enough on the uh, afternoon. Hawks were seemingly coming a lot of momentum that last quarter, but you guys were able to drag them back and you know kick those three late goals. What do you feel like changed um, among the group to try and you know arrest that momentum? Uh, oh, there are a couple of small things around 
you know, what players did and, um, you know, some of that run and overlap out of the back half and, you know, we won a centre bounce clearance or two and they're always important and uh, so that had an impact. You know, we had players, we probably kicked it better, you know, to position and to advantage. We were able to take a couple of marks and, um, and so, you know, it's just minor things that we know we can do well that we just didn't do well enough for most of the game. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.